Hello guys, this is Chuson from Attack Revolutionist and today we are going to take a look at the brand new motherboard from Gigabyte. As you know, the Intel's new Coffee Lake Refresh processors will be coming out next week, sometime very soon, and we are actually allowed to share some information about these motherboards uh, that's available. So, over here today we have this Z390 Aorus Master motherboard. It's actually a top of the line motherboard from Gigabyte. And uh, of course we want to take a look at all the different features and uh, all the different kinds of performance you may get or power delivery, how does it fare out uh, right out from this motherboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing and look at the different uh, components and features that it uses, okay? So let's take a look. First we have the box, it's a quite a nice box as you can understand. This is a ATX form factor. So when you open up, this is the motherboard itself. But let's leave this motherboard aside first because okay. On the first look, we can see that this motherboard has a very refined design. It is based on a black and white, black and silvery color scheme. So you can see that it's almost a very um, refined design where you can see a black PCB at the bottom and then some shiny portions of it at the top. And th there are a few core features that Gigabyte has uh, tried to bring across over in this motherboard. So, okay, maybe we shouldn't say this yet, but the thing is that they try to aim to get 5 gigahertz on the new coffee lake refresh processors right out from this board okay that's on water cooling and let's move on to the different features on this motherboard firstly we can see that it supports the latest coffee lake uh, refresh processors so you can expect the ninth generation uh, intel processors that starts with the 9 series of course by the same time you also support the 8 series generation of uh, intel processors so we are talking about your 6 core processors, uh, your Core i7, your Core i5 from the 8th generation as well. Um, let's move on. Here we have a DDR4 connect, uh, DIMM, DIMM slots. We have 4 DIMM slots over here. And at the, at the, at the, and at the bottom over here, we can see, firstly, we have a M2 slot. This is a 110mm, another M2 slot over here. And lastly, a 80mm M2 slot. So this actually supports a rate. Uh, configurations right out of these three slots and next moving on to the PCIe expansion we have a PCI Express X1 uh, PCI Express X16 these are all PCI Express uh, 3.0 next is another PCI Express X1 and then this is actually a PCI Express X6 specifically it is a PCI Express X16 slot next another PCI Express X1 and lastly we have this PCI Express X4 slot but at the same point of time, physically, it is actually an X16 slot. Moving on to the input output options. Over here, we can see a clear CMOS button as well as the power button. So, the cool thing is that you actually can power up your whole system just by pressing the power button over here, something that is not usually seen on motherboards. Or then we have your antenna ports. This is for your wireless connectivity. A Four, four USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports over here. This is stated to be DAC up, so you can actually plug in your external DAC directly to this slot to have a cleaner power delivery through these two ports. A HDMI port, this also signifies that this new Coffee Lake refresh processor has built in integrated graphics. A USB 3.1 Type C connector, another USB 3.1 Type A connector, two more USB 3.1 slots, a gigabit LAN port, as well as your 7.1 audio output. Let's move on to the power delivery of this motherboard. As you can see from over here, we actually have a 12 phase digital power design. Okay, so Gigabyte actually mentioned to us that they actually use more premium components, specifically a IR digital CPU power design which includes both digital PWM pro, uh, controllers and power IR stage MOSFETs. Uh, in layman terms, it basically means better power delivery, more sustainable and reliable uh, current flowing directly through the CPU for better overclocking and performance and reliability as well. So let's move on to take a look at the thermal capabilities of this motherboard. So you can see that this motherboard on the VRM, VRM area, there is a very beefy heatsink. And these heat sinks are actually have uh, these very thin fins to increase the airflow and heat, dissipa heat dissipation 
a performance of this whole motherboard okay at the same point of time when you take a look at a closer look at the bottom um, there's actually a few heat pipes at the bottom that has direct contact with the different power delivery components so this enhances the whole heat dissipation performance with good airflow throughout the whole motherboard you can actually bring your temperatures down effectively for you to attain a better reliability of the whole motherboard so talking about uh, thermal at the back there's also a metallic back plate that also helps you to bring the heat away from the motherboard effectively as well so now let's talk about some of the core features of this motherboard firstly for the ram portion it actually supports a ddr4 xmp profile up to 4133 megahertz and beyond so if you can purchase a 433 megahertz uh, RAM kits, you can plug it in and be ensured that uh, it will work out of the box if they are XFP certified. And of course, this motherboard is uh, has a lot of RGB lighting on it as well. So we can see, we will be able to see some RGB lighting over here uh, on the VRM area as well as the PCH area as well. And one of the core differences of this motherboard as compared to the rest in the series is that it tries to bring across even better audio quality to its end users. So instead of just a Realtek ALC chipset, it also has an additional ESS Sabre Reference DAC, the ES918, to enhance better signal-to-noise ratio for your high-resolution music and give you true fidelity music directly out from the I.O. Ports. And of course we want to focus a little bit on the networking capabilities of this motherboard as you can realize that there is actually a uh, antenna port over here. Instead of having a dedicated Wi-Fi chip or Wi-Fi controller on the motherboard, it actually uses Intel's built-in gigabit Wi-Fi chip that is found actually on the processor itself. This is similar to the 8th generation uh, laptops which also has this feature. So it can actually reach uh, gigabit speeds, gigabit wireless speeds of up to 1.7 gigabit per second directly from this uh, wireless chipset. At the same point of time, we also understand that the gigabit Ethernet port also is from the Intel and uh, it supports something called CFOS speed, C4 speed. So C4 speed actually helps you to prioritize all the different kinds of packets. Uh, network packets going through this motherboard and helps you to enhance your whole uh, networking performance on this motherboard. So this is it. This is a very quick overview of the Gigabyte Z390 Aorus Master Motherboard. This is Chisung from the Tech Revolutionist and we'll see you again next time.